Do you like finales? I like finales. So come, and let's all watch as I finish this game in the grand epic finale of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Zero Gears Misadventures. Where we get into a random battle, and I tend to run from it. Anyway, if you guys didn't watch my last episode, which was the epic final battle between me and the Four Fiends again... No way am I fighting this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go straight to the end and shut down this thing. Now, we are in the lung. I didn't pay tribute to that before. But, wow, just Final Fantasy II, the Japanese import uh, for the NES, just all over the place in here, just... Random bat, random battle, central. Anyway, um, we need to shut down the CPU, and we commencing shut down. Okay. Now I kind of went through that a little bit fast, but here's what you do. There's a special way that you have to go about doing this fight. Otherwise, you are in trouble. Kill the defender which is this one that I'm attacking here, take note of the fact that the, um, whatchamacallit, the, the CPU walled himself. You cannot use magic on it. Make note of that. Okay, that do what I think? Okay. No! Oh, it's, it's okay. Do now do not take out the attacker. Okay, that won't do anything. Just all physical attacks on the CPU. I wonder. Now, strangely enough, um, summons can get through the wall barrier. So I'm just going to keep using bomb because Rydia's physical attack is weaker than magic. Sure, it's still not much, but better than what it could be. Now, you're probably making note of the fact that this attacker is very annoying. Don't kill it, or bad stuff happens. I did this by mistake in my first take of this episode, so, uh, yeah, just don't do it. You'll live a lot longer, believe me. And you won't get 9999 dealed at you. And I'm not speaking German. Yeah, this is a fairly long and tedious fight, but it does have some pretty nice results. So still basically... Now, if I could pres... Now, okay. I'll shut up. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, Cecil's basically the powerhouse for this fight. Problem is, I'd like to berserk him because that would double his attack power, but then he attacks randomly. And if he attacks the attacker, I'm dead. And Edge is surprisingly not doing very well in this fight. He should be hitting pretty close to what Cecil's dealing, but he's not, which is weird. This fight doesn't take too long. As long as you know what you're doing, it's worth it to take this long over the bad stuff that would happen otherwise. Oh, great. Ah, oh, shoot. Please don't kill it. Okay. Whew. That was close. I think the attacker and defender have like a thousand health apiece. Something, something very low, and I am not taking out the attacker. Not yet, at least. It's pretty straightforward, so I'm not talking a whole lot. But yeah, there's not very much to say. Now that wall spell had to have gone off by now, and if it didn't, 
then I'm sorry, it'll just hit one of us, but yeah, that wall's gotta be down by now. You've gotta be kidding me! Well, at least it's the useless character. I mean, Fuso, yeah, I can't deal that much physical damage. Yeah, I was using him as my healer, but that's only because Rosa's a better attacker at this point. I mean, she can be my healer, but... Okay. No need. In fact, I think it's better with Fuso Ya dead, because now we can divvy up the experience among the four of us instead of with him, which... I mean, he's a tank right now anyway. Ah, cure four. Love it. Very nice. And that's game! Match point goes to me! You wretch. Oh. Okay, one more final epic boss fight between us and Golvez. Or Fusoya could take him on by himself, like Tella did. Only this time, Mateo won't have those grievous results. Wake up. What are you talking about? Just happened. Ah, oh, shoot, he's dead. Why? Why do people have to die? Oh, he's not dead. Gasp! What a twist! Zemus. I did hear a little bit about him. So he's the mastermind behind all this? Well, boy, doesn't that just... Ugh, this always happens. Every Final Fantasy game, there's always an evil, and then once you defeat that evil, you realize that there's a greater evil. Well, I guess basically game's over because, uh, uh, what's his name? Fusoya and Golbez are gonna go kill Zemus by themselves. So all we have to do is sit here on our butts. We don't have to do anything. Let the credits commence! Uh oh. Uh, what's the term for that? Um, load-bearing boss! I knew it would come to me. This way! Wait, who said that? Kane! Yeah, you can't trick us anymore, I'm not listening to you. Talk later, move now. We could just let Rosa use exit again. Oh, where's the exit? Uh, there's a door right there. Game over for you, stupid thing. Well, now we let the credits roll. We oh, of course, Kane has to explain himself first. Don't rub it in an edge. Okay, we're gonna do the sap story and then we go to credits, right? Look at Edge, he wants to have no part of this. Cowardly Ninja. I love in the DS version he says, If I do lose myself again, do not regret killing me without a single thought. 
or second thought, I think is what he says. I only played that game like twice. Alright, so I guess we're going after Zemus on the moon then. Oh, dude. You're a jerk. Your girlfriend just totally broke up with you. Sure, you're gonna go around saying that you... Edge, you're not... You're not helping. Well, whatever, we have one more boss to kill. So let's get to it. I'll worry about this with you guys next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Zero Gears Misadventures. I'm signing off. Have a good day.